Hello everyone, Dr. Zia Tahir here and welcome to my lecture series on research methods. This video tutorial is on conducting literature review using AI with SciSpace and highlights. First is introduction to SciSpace, then features of SciSpace, keyword search using filters, summarizing a paper, save to a notebook, chat with a paper, chat with PDF and creating my library. So introduction to SciSpace. So this is what Wikipedia says about SciSpace is a generative AI platform focused on academic research, which allow you to search, analyze and understand scientific articles. It's developed by Typeset. So this is uh, NLP, this uses NLP technology to simplify and streamline the process of reviewing literature in scientific paper. So if you type in SciSpace in the Google, so it will come like the first tab is size space and if you click on the size space so this is what you will have about size space it is the fastest research platform ever so you need to log in with your with any of your email so you can access its all full features so about the pricing so it has a basic version and then a premium version so i am going to uh, use basic version in this video tutorial now features of size space on the left side so there is a toolbar the first one is home then my library and in there is my notebooks then chat with pdf literature review then it has a feature of ai writing a topic finding a topic then it can do paraphrase it can generate citation extract data from a paper it can also use ai detection and then you can have that chrome extension and then you can use that on chat gpt keyword search so for keyword search here is a search bar on if you click here home so that is search bar or otherwise you can go here literature review and then you can type in here keywords so keywords are the words which best define your project so let's say i have here three keywords machine learning solar energy forecasting so keyword searching it can have uh, three to five keywords so if you simple write keywords and then press enter so it will take you to a new window sorry not a new window but it will open something a summary so in this summary the first you can set some here sort by relevance so the paper it will show you the summary here answer to the five paper and then here you can write that as in bullet points or in paragraph form so that is your choice so then if you read more so that is that it provide you a summary based on your keywords so it says that key machine learning techniques that is ann gradient boosting random forecast so this all provide you that so top five papers based on what you have searched so if i click here instead of bullets if i go the paragraph and apply so then it provides that in terms of a paragraph so that give you a summary of your keywords from five papers so you can apply filters to summary because these this summary is written based on the relevance so then there is an option that you can go for a citation count like you want to use highly cited paper or well reputed paper so if you click on citation count so it change the summary and then you can apply filters here like you can go for last five years and then apply so then it changes it changes the summary based on the filter which you have applied like in the last five years and then you can go here the publication type journal article so if you want to just 
review journal article so then you can apply that one or otherwise you can just clear filters so based on the citation count it gave you like the highly cited five paper so it can give you uh, a summary so these are the filter and then you can add their journals you can add some keywords further or you can go for the top paper so you can go for open access or you can go for the only whose pdfs are available and then further you can go here uh, the web conference so all that there are so many features so you can add any feature to the summary or you can add any feature to finding papers the next one is summarizing a paper so based on uh, the filter which you have applied so here is a citation count so it shows 10 papers there and then you can here load more papers so then the citation for these papers are shown like that is a 66 and then you can add here filters so let's say if you want to uh, give an overview of all those papers the so first one is a literature review on solar energy output prediction using variable machine learning techniques so then that is a summarize abstract and then is a method used so then you can see by looking at the summary of the abstract that which papers are relevant to your research or otherwise you can add more features like insights so that is insights of that paper so it will download and then you can also add here too long didn't read and then you can add here conclusion so conclusion of each paper so that gives the conclusion of each paper and sometime you can go for the problem statement of each paper so then it describe you the problem statement so here are or otherwise if you want to go for further research so uh, it can uh, for the basic version you can only add five so then you have to delete one and then you can add here a future research so these are the features which you can add here so and then based on that you can quickly summarize all those 10 paper or if you want to go for more papers so then you can simply read more papers to find out that which one paper is relevant to you and these are columns which you can add and a maximum five columns can be added so you need to delete that one whatever the previously you have used so like summarize abstracts only abstract and if you want to go for summarize introduction so it gave you the introduction so uh, you can uh, this way you can uh, read a paper you can compare different papers for their introduction what are the findings they have what are the objectives of the papers they have so in this way you can summarize a paper next save to my notebook so this literature review or all those papers so summary of that paper so there you have an option to save to my notebook so you can click on that and save to your notebook so i have renamed that as at a solar energy so then so you can save that and once so you can see that so you can save that and then this notebook you can further open this notebook as a full screen and then so i have already created a notebook so you can click here and then you can create a new notebook with any name so let's say i have created that notebook so which is a solar energy so then you can click on full screen and this notebook will be in your library so here you can see that the notebook in your library and then you can ask ai so you can ask ai is write introduction for you so ai is writing so this is the introduction it wrote for you and then you can ask ai again to write conclusion for you so then ai is writing so remember that you have 10 action in a day or if you will not accept that conclusion so then you can say it okay try again so it will try again and write conclusion for you 
and similarly you can ask further ai you can write question or you can tell that ai so to do write abstract so and then ai will write abstract for you so using notebook whatever you have final literature review so you can use that ai to write for you so remember you can export that as as a document or then you can also download this notebook in your computer and remember that if you have uh, login so this notebook will be available in your library next you can chat with the paper so let's say you have this long list of paper and you want to just read one paper so you can click on that one particular paper and it will open a new tab to solar power prediction using machine learning and then here are some predefined questions like here are 12 questions so explain abstract of this paper and then it will write abstract of this paper so this is explanation of abstract of this paper and then here in the setting you can go for tone simple academic professional concise medium or detailed as a response length and then you can ask few other questions so you can type in here your own default question so like as you can say please explain novelty in this paper so it will create a response for you so that is a novelty in the paper high accuracy in prediction comprehensive methodology use of multiple data source so then you can ask here any question and these are like here you can read more about tldr than abstract and then you can save this paper into your library you can cite that into your library and then most important future work suggested in the paper and then you can go for find relative papers so related paper so sometime what will happen that your supervisor give you a paper to read and then he ask you okay find some similar paper so these are similar paper or it gave a list of like five papers which are relevant to this one so this is how you can chat with the paper so now chat with pdf so sometimes the papers are not available on SciSpace, although it has lot of paper available and your supervisor gave you a paper or you have downloaded a paper from somewhere else and you not want to read that paper through uh, using SciSpace. so there you'll have that chat with pdf so you click on that and then you can upload any of the papers so let's say i have this one paper so it will upload that so then it gave you the option like you can save that in a new notebook or you can go for a new collection and yes you can go for a new collection and then you can name that new collection so i named that new name that new collection as solar energy paper so i click on done so this is the paper which i have just downloaded sorry uploaded so then you can ask few questions like explain abstract it gave you overview of the abstract so that is overview of the abstract and then these are few more question so method used in this paper or the good feature is here so you can simply uh, select something out of it so so you can simply select something and you can say explain that so like others other than clear sky the cloud represent crucial solar radiation attenuating factor so then it gave you the explanation or otherwise then again you can go for few more things like you can just select and then you can further go for get related paper so because it is taken from few references so then you can go and find related papers so in this way you can simply chat with a pdf okay and it took some time and then it gave some related papers so these are the five related papers so here you can type in any question you want uh, to 
get answer from this paper so similarly there is another paper i have uploaded and then i said it find relative related paper so it gave related paper or then generate summary of this paper so it has generated what method ensure accuracy of era 5 so that is one question i have generated here and then it gave me the answer so this is how you can chat and uploaded paper so which is not available uh, in the database of size paints and then my library on the home page if you click on my library so it will open a new tab so that tab contain your uploaded paper or any of your notebook which you have created so here i have one solar energy paper folder then I have created notebook. So the that is a solar energy notebook. And then you can chat here. You can ask any question from your notebook or from your any folder which you have created. Or you can chat with any paper in your library. So that my library is very important. So this software gave you a freedom. So so that you can create folder and then you can access those folder anytime. So this is all about using a library. So now the summary of this video tutorial. So this is about conducting literature review using AI with SciSpace. So SciSpace is one of the best platform available for literature review. I'm not saying that this is the best, but it is one of the best like there are few other available so i explained here features of size space but about from those feature i have just used a small part of using literature review and then keyword search so whatever the keywords you have you can use that and then you can summarize that paper using different tabs there you can save the papers to my notebook and then you can further use that notebook with the help of AI to write introduction, literature review, conclusion, or methods. Then you can chat with the paper which is available on the database of SciSpace. And then you can chat with any of your uploaded paper and those uploaded paper, your notebook that can be saved in your library. Thank you very much for watching. So you can watch other videos related to literature review or research methods on my channel.